The peel for a compromised barrier function, such as sensitive skin or rosacea, uses a lactic acid. As the molecular structure is larger than that of a glycolic acid, the processing of the acid on the skin is milder, allowing for a slower and more gentle, yet deeper, exfoliation. The skin's barrier is meant to protect the skin from bacterial invasion. In skin that is sensitive, this barrier has become compromised in some way, making the skin highly reactive and allowing more water loss or evaporation. The peel for sensitive skin begins with a complete cleansing of the face, neck, and décolleté. Using the same procedure as with the basic facial, you would again, as with any peel, eliminate the use of steam. Use a cleansing product formulated for sensitive skin and cleansing pads or soft, lukewarm towels for product removal. After cleansing, apply a toner made for sensitive skin, staying away from the eye area. Next, put on protective gloves. Some manufacturers may not have a degreasing product for this skin type as it has very little oil within its compromised barrier. If there is a PrEP product, apply it according to manufacturer's directions. After applying protective cotton pads over your client's eyes, apply the lactic acid peel with either a large disposable cotton swab or two small disposable cotton swabs, moving from the forehead down to and including the client's chin. The length of time a peel should stay on the skin varies between products, so check the manufacturer's instructions and set your timer accordingly. This skin type will definitely turn pink upon application of peel, which is normal. Watch carefully, however, for signs of burning, such as excessively reddened skin, and check in frequently with your client to assess their level of comfort. If you notice any increase in the redness of the skin indicating burning, wipe the product off immediately with cool, wet, disposable cotton. Otherwise, when the timer goes off, Remove the peel either by first applying a cool cotton compress for one minute and then removing the peel with the compress, or remove the peel directly using a disposable cotton cleansing pad. Follow this with a toner designed for sensitive skin. At this point, you may choose to use a serum to help rebuild and repair the skin and then a hydrating, oil-based, moisturizing treatment cream to enhance the barrier of the skin. Finish with a sunscreen. Use the same technique as with a basic facial to complete the client's treatment and assist them with follow-up and home care. <laughs>